Good evening folks, it's Glenn the Ball Chef and tonight I'm putting together one of my favorite Thai curries, Penang curry. Um, everybody makes it a little bit different, but this is the way I like it. It may not be as original as some Thai people have uh, had their curry, but I'll tell you what, if you try this, it tastes pretty much like what the Thai curry that I ate, the Penang curry I ate in Thailand tasted like. So. Uh, Let's get started. I'm going to show you exactly how I put my Penang curry together. All right, well, uh, we're going to be doing a chicken Penang curry. Uh, I like to use chicken thighs for this, skinless, boneless, boneless chicken thighs. And I've got about two pounds that I've chopped up. I'm going to start out by putting about two tablespoons of just uh, regular uh, vegetable oil in, and then about two and a half tablespoons. Uh, Penang curry powder, three cloves of chopped garlic, and five of these uh, picky new Thai peppers. If you didn't know it, picky new and Thai basically are literally means rat shit peppers. So these, these little guys are quite uh, spicy. This is going to be probably medium hot. And what we'll do here is we'll just infuse some of this curry. This chicken, stir fry this around a little bit, and we'll come back. I'll show you the next step. All right, well, we've got uh, the chicken browned off with our uh, Penang curry paste, um, picky new peppers, and of course the uh, crushed garlic. We're going to add about uh, two tablespoons of some all purpose uh, fish sauce to this. And then we're going to add uh, about six ounces of uh, coconut cream, or coconut milk, I guess this would be, to this dish. I'm going to add about another six ounces of water. Give this uh, a little bit of a stir. Bring this back up to heat. Put this uh, chicken in. Uh, these spices infused with this, this cream here a little bit. We'll come back and I'll show you the next step. Okay, as our uh, chicken is uh, cooking, I've got some, uh, some peanuts. Uh, I'm just going to crush these up a little bit. And we're going to add these right into our uh, cooking curry here. Uh, if you're allergic to peanuts, you probably wouldn't want to add this, but uh, this is traditionally added to your uh, spinning curry. Crush this up. You don't need to make peanut butter out of it, but just uh, this is you get. A nice little crush on these. Throw that into the mix. Give that a little bit of a stir. And at this point, we can go ahead and add in some of our vegetables. I've got a uh, purple onion and uh, we'll add that to this. And I've got a uh, Julian uh, red bell pepper. It's not spicy at all. We'll stir that in. Let that cook for a minute. Let this go here for about, uh, oh I don't know, about five minutes and we'll come back put the last couple of ingredients is in. Alright, this uh, sauce is cooking it up nice. Our uh, onions and bell peppers are still crispy, but uh, they have definitely softened up. Now I'm going to add two potatoes that I've parboiled. I'm going to add that to the mix, along with uh, a healthy helping of some uh, fresh Thai basil. I'm give this a stir. And uh, we'll let some of the uh, juice get soaked up into these potatoes. Some of this uh, aromatic basil to blend with the sauce. We'll cook this for about another uh, minute or two. Alright, we'll all all the uh, basil and uh, spices are infusing nicely with the potatoes. The last step is we're going to add a 
tablespoon of uh, some brown sugar. I don't know if they were using Thailand, but that's all I happen to have here. Give this another stir. And this should be ready to be plated up here. Uh, let's go about another uh, minute or two here. All right, uh, there's our completed uh, Penang curry straight out of Thailand. Give this a little shot here. Why is eating this with a spoon? Thais always eat with a spoon. Get a little bit of that uh, chicken in there, some of that sauce, a little bit of that uh, aromatic uh, jasmine rice. We'll give this a bite and see how it tastes. Mm. The chicken is uh, very tender. It's very nice and spicy. I would say it's restaurant quality. Very, very tasty stuff, folks. Uh, it's Glenn the Ball Chef presenting my uh, Penang curry. And uh, I thank you for watching. Sub if you'd like. We've got some interesting dishes that we're doing here. Uh, like the dish if you like it. If not, tell me why you don't. At any rate, thanks for watching and as always, bon appetit.